Hello. In this figure, we have a circle inscribed in a right isosceles triangle. Side AC is 10 units and BC also 10 units. We need to find the radius of the circle. First, we need to know that because AC is tangent to the circle, it forms a right angle with the radius. And if we draw the radius perpendicular to BC, then we will form another right angle. So now we have a square where each side is R. Let this point of tangency be point D and this one E. Now if side AC is 10 units and DC is R units, then AD is 10 minus R. So again, AD is 10 minus R. And if BC is 10 units and CE is R units, then BE is 10 minus R. Now let's use the following theorem. Here we have a circle and a point outside the circle. Then if from this point we draw two tangents to the circle, then these line segments will be equal. So AP equals BP. Now in our problem, let this point of tangency be point F and point A is a point outside the circle. Then according to this theorem, if AD is 10 minus R units, then AF is also 10 minus R units. And if BE is 10 minus R, then BF is also 10 minus R. So notice that point F is the midpoint for AB. Now we will use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse AB. For this we will write that 10 squared plus 10 squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So again that is 10 squared plus 10 squared equals AB squared. 10 squared equals 100 so 100 plus 100 equals AB squared then 200 equals AB squared then AB equals square root of 200 and we can simplify square root of 200 by writing it as a product of 100 and 2 then because square root of 100 is 10 AB equals 10 square root of 2. So the hypotenuse is 10 square root of 2. Now AF is half of the hypotenuse. So we can write that AF equals 10 square root of 2 divided by 2 which is 5 square root of 2. Now in the figure we have that AF is 10 minus R. Then to find the radius we can write that 5 square root of 2 equals 10 minus R. Both these quantities represent AF. If we add R to both sides and subtract 5 square root of 2 from both sides, then we will have the following. R equals 10 minus 5 square root of 2. And this is the radius of the inscribed circle. I hope you enjoyed this problem and I would be glad to see what methods you would use to solve it. Thank you for watching and I am looking forward to reading your comments.